Is there gonna be time travel in Stranger Things season five? What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. So today I'm talking about Stranger Things Season 5 and how there could potentially be time travel involved in the season. But before I do, hit that like button, comment down below any theories you have for Season 5 regarding time travel, and of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 80,000 subscribers here on the channel. Also, I just revamped my Patreon, check it out, link down below to join the Discord, get extra videos like this one, as well as live Q&As. Anything goes a long way, so check it out. So when it comes to Stranger Things Season 5, we're still a ways away. The writer strike is currently ongoing, and as we know, the Duffer Brothers are not going to start filming until that has all been resolved, because that would inhibit them from being able to rewrite it as they shot it, and also, the writers just deserve fair pay. The gap between Season 3 and Season 4 was 3 three years and it's looking like the gap between season four and season five could be three years or maybe even longer. Who knows when they will actually start filming, but I already have a video sort of discussing all of that. The main topic today is will there be time travel in Stranger Things season five? A lot of people have talked about it, you know, recently in live streams that I've done or online. So throughout the show, there have been nods or hints towards the possibility of time travel being a crucial element in the final season of the show. Perhaps the biggest comes from season four when Nancy sees her journal in the upside down, her diary, I should say, and it still says November 6th, 1983. That was the last entry that she made in her diary. And that just so happens to be the same day that Will was taken by the Demogorgon, the inciting incident at the very beginning of Season 1, Episode 1. But as we come to know, the Demogorgon was controlled by Vecna in a way, like essentially one of his soldiers. So I'm really interested to see how we get more info on all of that. Hopefully we get some flashbacks in Season 5 that show us like Will's perspective fully from Season 1. I think that would just enhance the storytelling. But when it comes to time being frozen in the upside down on this date, there's still a lot of questions and there's confusion in the air and there's supposed to be because that's something that's not gonna be fully resolved until season five. The Duffer Brothers have hinted at in interviews that in the final season, they're pretty much gonna resolve all these big questions we still have to answer regarding the upside down. However, the fact that time is actually frozen there could hint at the possibility of time travel in the real world, having to go back in time to that day for whatever reason. Now, what means would they do this by? I have no clue. I, I'm sure they could introduce something going through some portal, who knows? I do think it would be a little outlandish, but it is a possibility. When it comes to Vecna though, there is a heavy emphasis on the use of clocks. You know, everyone who is about to be possessed by Vecna or taken essentially, always sees these grandfather clocks. We saw it with Chrissy first, then Fred, then we saw it with Patrick from the basketball team, and ultimately Max ends up seeing the grandfather clock. It's also worth noting that we get that clock chime noise anytime Vecna is like around. It's almost like his Kraken call in a way, like signifying Vecna has arrived. We hear this and then of course we get the whole backstory with Henry Creel being Vecna and we see the grandfather clock there as well. The clock imagery is associated heavily with Vecna. That could be some nod that the Duffer Brothers sort of retcon to make this whole time travel thing happen, but I don't know if I buy into it. And of course there's another Easter egg with the Back to the Future references in season three. Obviously the film's playing in theaters and it kind of plays a role near the end of season three with the whole Dustin and Steve and Robin and Erica storyline with the Russians. But but I think that's more so just a nod because the season took place in 1985. That was the big summer movie of 1985 almost just paying homage to it as other seasons tend to do. But at the same time in season three, we've got a Terminator reference as essentially the Terminator knockoff is trying to hunt down Hopper most of the season. We see them get in fights throughout the majority of the season. Ultimately, Hopper ends up killing him. And at the time we thought Hopper was gonna die, he lived. And that still doesn't fully make sense to me, but the Duff Brothers can make anything happen. So Eddie could be alive, topic for another time. But this is not gonna be the first Terminator reference that the series has made because Linda Hamilton was just added to the season five cast a week ago at Netflix's To Dumb. This is what kind of sparked this entire video and a lot more theories online. Linda Hamilton plays Sarah Connor in the Terminator franchise, a franchise that is heavily based in the time travel world. Now, I'll be honest, I've only seen the first two Terminator films. I've heard the rest aren't worth a damn, so if you think I should watch them, let me know in the comments down below. But nonetheless, the Terminator franchise deal heavily with time travel, and essentially, to my knowledge, a Terminator is usually sent from the future to the past to kill or protect somebody. That's at least my gist of the franchise, the understanding that I have of it. So this could be hinting at a few things. There are theories online that Linda Hamilton could be playing an older Eleven who gets sent back in time. I, I don't think that's ridiculous to me. I don't think that she's playing an older Eleven and they're gonna go that route at all. To me, the casting of Linda Hamilton just means, hey, the Duffer Brothers decided to cast yet another 80s icon in a small role. This is nothing new. It started in season two with Sean Astin as Bob. In fact, 
He was more of a major role, playing this sort of father figure to Will for a bit there. Didn't have a great ending, pretty tragic result. But Sean Astin, an icon from The Goonies, and then obviously he had big roles in like Lord of the Rings, but that wasn't in the 80s. Then you look at season three, Mary Larry Klein. Who is he played by? Carrie Elways, who is the main star of the Princess Bride film, another 80s hit. And then you look at season four, Victor Creel was played by Robert England, who plays Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street, which came out in 1984, yet another 80s icon. I think this is just following trend with casting an 80s icon in a bit of a smaller role and a lot of people might just be reading too deep into it but at the same time because the news broke it to dumb there's a little bit more reasoning as to why this theory might be happening on one hand it could just be the Duff Brothers saying hey here's some news we're not filming so let's just give them something on the other it could be here's some casting news but it's a bit of a hint at where the season might be headed with Linda Hamilton you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below but I stand in the camp that hey Linda Hamilton being cast is just a reference to the Terminator films. We're getting another 80s icon in the picture. In fact, it actually opened the door for me to think, what if we get more 80s icons in the season? It's the final season of the show. Why not go out with a bang having all these 80s icons? Give us Kurt Russell, who was, you know, from John Carpenter's The Thing, Big Trouble in Little China, and of course, you know, Escape from New York. Give us Carl Weathers, who's Apollo Creed and from the Predator films. Hell, throw Christopher Lloyd in there, who plays Doc Brown. If we really want to embrace this time travel thing, and that's what they want to go for, why the hell not have Christopher Lloyd make an appearance in some way, shape, or form? One theory I had was let's have this special ops team come in and obviously Hawkins is divided and the Upside Down is coming up into Hawkins right now. So we're gonna have to have some sort of military presence. That's the way I think Linda Hamilton's gonna come in. She's gonna be like this badass seasoned veteran military force person who comes in and kicks ass. On the other hand, she could just be a Hawkins local who the gang has to go sort of interview or question regarding a theory they have when it comes to how to defeat Vecna. She will have a role in the season, obviously she's cast in season 5, but the extent of that role is unknown and I don't think it's going to be huge. The biggest I think it will be, like I said, is some sort of special ops trooper or commander. And it would be cool if she led this group of other 80s icons that would be badass. I don't know if the Duffers do that, but I am so here for that because it's not taking away from our main group of characters, finishing out their character arcs or anything like that. They're just a military presence, nothing new for Stranger Things. We always have some governmental figure or military force that's introduced in every single new season. So to answer the burning question, will there be time travel in season five? It's still up in the air. To me, if time travel is done poorly, it has the potential to derail the overall series, which is just not what I want. Now, I have faith in the Duffer Brothers. I think that they will stick the landing with season five, but I'm not sure time travel is necessary, especially with only one season left. Call it eight episodes, max 10. I don't think that they would want to have time travel being introduced waste like two or three episodes because it's not really a concept that fits within the context of Stranger Things. Obviously, the upside down in and of itself is this whole other entity that still confuses us. So the Duff Rose have hinted that they want to wrap that up and give us clarity with it. Introducing time travel and like the rules of time travel within the Stranger Things world would just confuse audiences further and honestly make for a bit of a convoluted overstuffed season in my mind. Again, I could be proved totally wrong if the Duffer Brothers stick the landing with this thing and they want to go the time travel route. And yes, there are hints and nods at the potential of time travel being used in the season. But as a fan of this show and someone who just wants it to be closure for the characters and Vecna, the Upside Down, everything like that, I don't think time travel is necessary. I think that it is too risky to introduce this late in the game, and I don't think the Duff Brothers will go that route. But again, they could prove me wrong because there are signs pointing towards the possibility of time travel being in season five. But what do you guys think? Is time travel gonna be a huge element of season five? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 80,000 subscribers here on the channel. It mean a lot. Also check out my Patreon link down below to join the Discord, get extra videos, live Q and A's. Anything goes a long way. I love growing that community. It's been a lot of fun. But thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more more Stranger Things content coming soon, and until next time, see you guys on the other side of the Upside Down.